culture is one of the oldest with a long history of literary and musical traditions. In uh, many of these literary and technical treatises that date uh, even before two millennia ago, we find references to and descriptions of music of those times. Um, we find uh, the word pun, for instance, which uh, is regarded as the equivalent of raga. If you look at Ilangu uh, Edigal's masterpiece, Shilapadikaram, we find in it descriptions of dance and music of those times. And uh, from all accounts, it, they seem to be highly evolved and sophisticated. Now, the Tamil um, culture is, um, is, it has been pretty uh, indigenous in the sense that most other languages, for instance in India, are derived from Sanskrit, but Tamil has had um, uh, the origin and development of its own. The music of, I mean, Carnatic music um, traces its um, its uh, roots back to the Vedas on the one hand, it is said, or at least certainly the Bharat, Bharatas Natya Shastra, which in turn traces its uh, existence back to the Vedas. So, Carnatic music has definite connections with the uh, Sanskrit um, traditions, but it also has links with the Tamil musical traditions. Now, we have already spoken of the music of the Arvars and the Nayanmars, their musical outpourings and uh, how even today we sing these compositions 
um, in concerts and on in other contexts, in religious contexts and otherwise, even in daily prayer. Now, another important Tamil composer uh, who also belonged very much to the bhakti uh, tradition was Arunagiri Nadar. Arunagiri Nadar probably lived sometime around the 15th or 16th century and uh, he wrote uh, songs, he sang songs uh, addressed to the Tamil god Murugan or Kartikeya or Subramanya. These compositions collectively are called Tirpuhar. Um, Arunagiri Nadar uh, has, uh, as legend goes, uh, led a life of great debauchery until he, uh, he found Muruga Bhakti, devotion to Murugan. And um, in many of his compositions, we find him admonishing uh, people and himself to choose the right path to to take to devotion to Murugan and um, the more the and it's in, in from the literary point of view it is very rich very dense Tamil um, very wordy so to say the compositions are packed with words um, the composition that you just heard in the beginning Apahar and Indai Patturaladi um, if you had noticed, it was a different kind of talam. Apahar nindai patturaladi ariyada vanjare kuriyadi upadesha mantira purulali unnai nan ninaindarul peravenu. Now, this is a tala which is not, does not belong to the Suladi Sapta tala. It is generally called Chanda Tala because the Tala just follows the Chanda or the meter of the poem. So uh, we have Apahara Ninde Paturala De Ariyada Vanjare Kuriyade and so on. Um, and um, reputedly, uh, the Chanda of each of the Tirupuhar is different or at least there is a great variety of chandas in the Tirupuhar. So, um, Chanda Tala is essentially, as I said, the, the Tala movement simply follows the meter of the uh, poem. Now, it, these can get pretty complex as um, you will see in the uh, clip that you will just hear. Uh, Ramakrishnan Murti performs a Tirupuhar. Now, the, the chanda of that is first there is a seven, takkitta, takka, dhimmi. Then you have a nine, takka, takkitta, takka, dhimmi. Then you have another nine, takka, takkitta, takka, dhimmi. And then you have takka, dhimmi, takka, dhimmi. So, this is the meter of the uh, song and uh, that is the that is the tala the way it is the tala is also performed uh, simply following the meter of the uh, poem the thing the the composition is in todi ragam <laughs> ரவேல் <laughs> அம்பினுக்கெதிராகும் பலமானன் 
தனியே பூதாவின் சமத்திடை போய்வன் துயர் மூழ்கி கனத்த விசாரம் பிறபடி தோழும் கரு குழி தோயும் கவிழாதே கனத்தி விசாரம் பிறபடி தோழும் கரு குழி தோயும் கவிழாதே கலி புலவோர் பண் படை திடவோதும் கள புகழோதும் கலைதாராய் வினைகினமாகும் தனத்தின வேளம் வினகிராகும் பலமான தனித்து புதாவென் சமத்திடை போவென் துயமூழி கனத்த விதாரம் பிறப்படி தோழும் கரு குழி தோழும் கவிழதே கலை உலவோ பண்படை திடவோதும் கடற்புகழோதும் கலைதார உணத்திடை போவென் திடை துயர்வோதும் போவன் சிலை குலவோர் பஞ்சியை புணர்வாகம் புயவேளே பொரு பிரு கூறும் பட கடல் தானும் பொரு கிழவானும் புகை மூல புனதிடை போவன் சிலை குலவோர் வண்டியை புணர்வாகம் புயவேளே பொரு பிரு கூறும் பட கடல் தானும் பொரு கிழவானும் புகை மூல சின தொடு சூரன் கன திணி மார்பன் பிறக்கமராதும் திரல் வேல சின தொடு சூரன் கன திணி மார்பன் பிறக்கமராதும் திரல் வேல திரு புகழோதும் கரு தினர் சேரும் திரு தனிமேவும் பெருமாளே புனதிடை போவன் சிலை குலவோர் பஞ்சியை புனர்வாகம் புயவேளே பொரு பிரு கூறும் படக்கடலானும் பொரு கிழவானும் புகை மூல சின தொடு கூறன் கனத்தினி மார்பன் திரகமராது திரல் வேல திரு புகழோதும் கருத்தின சேரும் திரு புகழோதும் கலைதார புனத்திடை போவன் சிலை குலவோர் பஞ்சியை புனர்வாகம் Now just as we have um, the the Carnatic Trinity or uh, Tyagaraja, Muthuswami Dikshidhar and Shama Shastri, we also speak of the Tamil mover or the Tamil trinity. Well, these were three uh, very important composers who lived before the trinity actually, before Tyagaraja and Dikshidhar and Shama Shastri. They lived sometime in the 17th century. They also lived in and around Tanjavur and uh, they composed in Tamil. These are Muttu Tandavar, Mari Mutta Pillai and Arunachala Kavi. Their compositions are still sung in concerts today. Um, they were also Bhakti uh, composers. Now, Arunachala Kavi's Ramanatakam is, is very popular even today. Uh, this is the as the name itself suggests, the story of the Ramayana told in songs. So, for every episode of the Ramayana, we have a, a song, a composition. And uh, it is it's, uh, very interesting how Arunachala Kavi's mind has worked to, to, to create little, little details of each episode. And, uh, uh, it is, can be an exercise in itself to look at the uh, poet's imagination in this work. And um, it is uh, Arunachala Kavi only wrote these songs. Uh, the music was set by his disciples. 
Uh, but these songs are still quite popular, especially a few of them from this uh, uh, big set of compositions. Um, this larger, from this uh, rather large set of compositions, some of them are particularly popular and are still sung. Now, Mari Mutta Pillai, uh, a few of his compositions have come down, and uh, this composition particularly is is very uh, poignant. It is set in a, a very great Rakti Raga, Yadukula Kambuji. Composition goes like this: Kali tu ki ninradum. Devame, Yenne, Kaitu ke al Devame. So, you who have your foot lifted and you who dance with your foot lifted, won't you lift me and rule over me? That is the, uh, the gist of the song. And uh, as you can see on your screen, the, the word Tuki, Tuki means to lift. Uh, and uh, that is used in many senses in this composition and uh, the in itself it is a very very simple idea that you who lift so many things in your hand you have your there is on, on one hand there is the deer on the other hand you have the damaru you have lifted so many things you lift your feet and dance can you not lift me up uh, this is a very uh, simple and poignant play on the word tuki. The composition is like this. It's, uh, it starts in what is called a very gambhira, in a very dignified, sedate way. Another Tamil composer who predates the Trinity uh, is Uttakada Venkatakavi. He lived uh, in Uttakada, again near Tanjaur, and his Ishtadevata, his he sang on Krishna, on Krishna of Vrindavan. Many of his compositions have extremely uh, beautiful and graphic details of Krishna's um, sport in Vrindavan. And uh, many of these compositions are very popular. Um, he composed mostly in Tamil, also in Sanskrit. And uh, the, the rhythmic complexity and uh, the sheer dexterity with words and how he brings them together is makes him a remarkable composer. For instance, we have this uh, composition, uh, the, the very popular composition, Alai Pai De Kanna Unan in the Mohana Venu Ganam. So here he is saying, your, uh, your flute, the, the mm, magic of your flute it is enveloping me as as if it was waves, waves of your 
the moon music of your flute are engulfing me alaypa yude kanna and taaye uh, yashoda is another very very famous composition in which uh, the gopis are depicted as complaining to yashoda about uh, the pranks that krishna is up to all the time um again there is this another composition asaind aadum mayil undru kandan asaind aadum mayil undru kandal yen alagan vandan endru solvadhu pol thonrum it is this is again a very interesting and very beautiful uh, poetic imagination at work here when i see a dancing peacock i feel that my that the beauteous one has come the beautiful one here is obviously krishna now why does uh, a dancing peacock the sight of a dancing peacock seem as if it is lord krishna the beautiful krishna who has come there, there can be in interpretations of this one is that krishna sports the peacock feather on his uh on his uh, head gear so the sight of a peacock would naturally remind you of krishna another is possibly that krishna is mekha shyama he it's the color of the clouds and peacocks dance as a sight of clouds so that could be another association nevertheless i mean the interpretations are possible but here the the sudden jump from uh, the, the, there is an incorporation of madhyama kala sahitya also which is full of which is very wordy actually but it's still very uh, exciting and charming to listen to i'll just uh, demonstrate one and the sai the link to this composition is here you can listen to the full composition மலர்மகளும் பாட இது கனவோ நினவோ என மனதிரு முனிவரும் மகிழ்ந்து கொண்டாட அசது ஆடும் அழுகொன்று கண்டார் என் அழகன் வந்தார் என்று சொல்வது போல் தோன்றும் அசது ஆடும் அகிழ்வு மயிலின் இறகாட மகர குழையாட மதிவதனம் ஆட மயக்கும் விழியாட மலர் அணிகள் ஆட மலர் மகளும் பாட கம்ப்ளீட் ப்ராஷ் அகேன் ஆஃப் மா அண்ட் Uh, a very rich description of the dance of krishna she says he says that as the peacock feather danced his eyes were dancing his ear- earrings were dancing and it's as if uh is it real or is it a dream that's the that's a kind of experience when you witness the dance of krishna so utkada venkata kavi uh, not only composed on krishna he also composed uh, um a navavarana set of compositions um on devi he also was a shri vidya upasaka just like uh, dikshudar after him so this um uh, utkada also comp- he is just referred to as utkada very often in musical circles in music circles utkada venkata kavi he also composed tilanas very interesting tilanas with gati bhedas um but uh, 
um, the main feature of his compositions is the word play and uh, an elegant uh, setting of music. <laughs> 